On my walk, a large bird flew past me in an open field bordered by trees. I followed the bird to the tree line, and to my surprise, it was perched on a branch with its back to me, and it did not move. Look at this beautiful red-tailed hawk. It's very broad, with rounded wings and a short tail, and the females are almost three inches larger than the males. Its color is a rich brown above and pale below. It flew to another branch and was preening, which made it easy for me to see its beautifully streaked belly. She sat up straight and then looked to the right and then to the left, and it occurred to me that she was hunting. Yet all I saw was this tree and some debris. I did not realize at the time that the debris was hiding a creek. She flew to the ground near the tree and the debris. Watch the scene with me as she waits patiently and positions herself for the ambush. Then she flies to attack her prey. Listen to the sound I could not see. Abruptly, it was over. And I saw water flowing and waited and looked a great blue heron emerges from the creek and crosses the flowing water to live another day. The beautiful red-tailed hawk conceded defeat as it sat humbly on a nearby branch, then flew to a branch further away, then out of sight. It is likely the most common hawk in North America, and it typically eats mammals, but today it had its sights set on a great blue heron, unfortunately. The red-tailed hawk can be found throughout all of North America, from Canada throughout the USA, into Mexico and the Caribbean. And it sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs>